Hello guys, Tonton is back with the review of the Toys Era number 9, the comedian, which is the Joker from the movie Joker, but they cannot do that for copyright reason. And yeah, I want to ch have something new, so I decided to do this review now. Uh, something new, like for now maybe I will review a 1 to 6 scale figure. And to a lot of you have asked, that uh, why I do have some resemblance of Joby the Hong and Emgo e because, because actually because I'm inspired by those two so uh, yeah I watch their review a lot and so I have that mixing feelings of them and this is the box of the figure as you can see it sets the, it sets the comedian open it out and you can see that there's a put on a happy face thing uh, I don't know they don't have an uh, happy face unhappy face but then they just have put on happy face which is kind of nonsense but anyway let's move on to the figure itself and I will do the unbox of this figure now put this on this is the obviously put on happy face and it also can act as a uh, displays scene this is a scene when he comes out of the Murray Franklin show and as for the figure itself this open and he has quite a few accessories first we have a set of alternate joint this is for replacement put it here and we have this set of flower I believe this is the flower that he bought to his mother when she was in the hospital and we have the clown mask from the uh, chase with the police this is rubbery so he can actually put it on I'll try it later for you guys and interesting that uh, the mask has this uh, soft pieces here this is for not scratching the paint on the figure face itself here we also have set some outfit hands this is for holding the fist as you can see quite nice and it's actually fascinating to be honest because if you look close closely let me try to zoom it in for you you can see that there's some bruise here here and there really nice this is a normal hand the default hand and this is for holding the flower like so like that also, it's not really, to be honest, it's not really fit because the hole is kind of big. But I think we'll make do with that. Set all the okay. Here's some interesting part. This is the uh, cigarette. Because we all know Joker is a smoker. Cigarette. They put it under a different plastic bag, zip bag, so we don't lost it. Uh, let me try to reach for this. Ah, this is the pistol. The pistol that he used in the movie. Kind of nice. Got the road, road, the rotating set here. And this gun is die cast metal. 100% die cast metal. And if um and the trigger, he cannot pull the trigger. This is all fixed. This is the only moving parts of the gun. This here. And. We also have this. Oh, let me put them out. This is quite nice, to, really. This is the two alternate face. How the head of him. Here. And here. So these are the two heads, as you can see. Uh, it's the, this head is actually the same mode. As you see, the, all the details are the same. The only difference is the Joker pin makeup on the face and the color of the hair this is optional so you can totally customize this head into this head here but uh, it's very it's really valuable because um, with this head what you can do actually is that you can build a um, another one to six scale figure of uh, Arthur by yourself I mean like the body and the uh, clothing is easy to access so you can buy them for yourself to be honest, that is really simple. You can buy them and customize an auto flag. And this head here, I mean, it's not really my ch choice. 
I don't really impress with not really impressed with this head. What I'm really impressed is the other head, which I'm gonna show you now. Put this aside. Now we come to the figure itself. Where the figure? This is the Joker. I'm gonna put it this out so you can see the head, the other head. This is a really good head sculpt. This is him smiling. As for the put on a happy face theme of the figure, this is really nice. Uh, the hair sculpt is slightly different, as you can see. It is more slick in. This is more like a slick back now. Really nice. It's more styling than this one. This is normal hair. This is we have a slick back here, and the smiling really impressed me. And for this line here, I think this is like suppose when when he got caught by the police or after shooting Murray that he got this. But this is a, the happy face. I think this is the face from the scene where he danced on the um, stairs. And if you look closely here, I want to try to show it to you. We have a little bit of a teeth details and also the tongue sticking out. I don't know if you can see this on my camera. But it is quite nice to have that level of details with a, with a head sculpt like this. And then for last, for the accessories, it comes with an uh, with a base and a stand. Just a simple one to six scale stand, nothing too spectacular. And last, this is the base of the figure. Just. This is like the uh, concrete color, the stair color, or in plastic, nothing too special, no LED or anything. This is the name tag, you can put on the name, clearly Toys Era didn't do it because of copyright reason. So yeah, you can set the Joker here by yourself, this is simple. Okay, so since we have already go through all the accessories, I'll go to the figures in depth. So this is your standard 1 to 6 scale figure. with bands the arm pretty good band with uh, the, some blocks on the fabric of the suit jacket the head can do a 360 not really up and down it's a really loose connection with some balls this is a ball and socket joint put it back get your head back together joker okay here we go the leg can kick up that far and not really down because of the that section the split is also kind of limited and I don't want to be too hard with this such a delicate figure so the feet this is the movement the feet itself this is the knee band a decent band for a one to six scale figure and bend it back and that's basically the articulation of this figure but since you know you I bought a you bought a six one to six scale figure with such detail like this you don't really want to play with it you want to display it on the case and i will talk more in depth about the accessories now first is the mask as you can see this is made from plastic and you see these two pieces over here this is for not scratching for the paint of the face can he wear it i'll try it now i, th I think he can wear it because this is a rubber band so it's kind of hard because the rubber will bounce around but uh Yes, he can. He can wear the mask. Also, I would not prefer him wearing the mask because he has such a nice head sculpt. And the face is really nice. I'm going to remove the mask. Done with the mask. And now we'll come to the flower. The flower, like I said, I think he is with this hand. This is the holding hand like this. But then again, it's a loose connection because see, it falls. So I, this is not really an option to me. And I don't really like this flower thing accessories. So I'm gonna put it aside here. This hand here is interesting. These two hands here. They are the trigger finger hand for using with the gun. As you can see. These two hands, trigger finger, and just put it in like this. And wrap the fingers around the trigger. Like that. And you can see him holding the gun now. Really nice. And I will post this later. Also, this hand as well. This hand is kind of harder to fit in. 
then you do the same thing. But the problem with this hand is that you see the fi the figure the the pointy fingers it, it cannot reach the trigger of the gun. So it is kind of hard for me to pose with this hand. So I think this is for holding with the mask maybe. Let, let me try. Oh yeah, this can hold the mask. This hand can hold the mask. Do the pose like that. Really good. This is a gripping hand. Really nice. So each hand goes with a single accessories and the cigarette here is a really small cigarette. I want to put it out, try this so you can see. Hopefully my camera can catch it. Here we go. This is a cigarette. If you can see it, I hope you can see it. It's too small. Uh, damn it, I cannot catch it. Okay, this is too small. I quit. But then with the cigarette. You can actually put it into the the between fingers of the spreading hand, so he can actually having a cigarette there, like this, something like that. So I think the cigarette is a really nice uh, uh, accessories because of size of it. It gives the figure a really realistic vibe. I really enjoy this feature of the figures. And this two join here is for alternate. I think this is with the hands, the joint, the hand join here. I'm gonna take it out for you, so you can see for yourself. Take them out, and as you can see here, you yeah, have for the join of the arms because of the removal and everything. So you can absolutely pluck an arm here, like that. See, this is the. Uh, alternate joint in case it breaks so you can remove that joint and have him posing with the other accessories of him like so a really nice figure really really nice and that is why I really enjoy this figure because to me Joker has always been an interesting character I enjoy him since my childhood day of watching Batman and then the Dark Knight and then Joker and don't talk to me about Jared Leto Joker, alright? That is trash. Fuck DCEU. But Joaquin Phoenix Joker is another thing. He's a completely realistic figures. He made the characters l so similar to what happens to a lot of people in real life. And that, why I, that is why I really appreciate the figures of him portraying the Joker. And for some comparison, this is the comedian versus the hot toys joker from the dark knight as you can see here they are obviously from two different concepts of the jokers like from the dark knight this is more like a, a war paint with the covering the scars and everything but with the uh, joker from the movie the joker this is more like a makeup as for the suit i actually prefer the suit of the hot toys version from the dark knight than this version because of the problem here as you can see the trousers the trousers on the jokers are from the hot toys version is quite on so it's fit but on the jokers is quite kind of like a, uh, a baggy type like an italian style as for the suit jacket as well the same as you can see the suit jacket here fits perfectly with the body but with the comedian it is still kind of look of the backy look as also for the size of the arm as well and other than that this is a completely two beautiful joker figures from the two different concepts of the same characters and they all share some similarities of the face makeup but rather than that it's a, a big different that from the joker of Hawking Phoenix it is the lack of purples as you can see from throughout history the color purple has always been a signature of the characters but in Joaquin Phoenix version we got replaced that with a kind of green color here on the shirt and the suit is red and also the vest is yellow which is kind of an interesting concept of the joggers uh, some may, might say a good refresh other than that with everything that the movie has accomplished so far I really hope that Hawkwind Phoenix performance as the Joker will win, will win an Oscar this year we will soon know because according to what is happening now he already won a Golden Globe and the BAFTA from England 
which is a really good uh, step to lead to the Oscar. And I will, I really hope that happens because these are my two favorite Joker's figure so far. And I mean, they are iconic, so they deserve like a preservation in all the forms. And I love that Hot Toys and Toys Era did this, so us, the collectors of the f figures, can appreciate the actor's performance, especially to Heath Ledger because he died a few years ago before the release of the Dark Knight. Rest in peace, Heath, we miss you. And as for Joaquin Phoenix, we all know that he's a good actor, a successful one. And I really hope that this will be his live performance of all time. Not like Jared Leto from Suicide Squad, fuck, still fuck that Joker. He did, he is not deserved to be in my toys closet ever. I would never buy any figures that resemble the Joker from DCEU. And that wraps up my review of Jokers from Toys Era, or should I say the Comedian, due to copyright reason. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. And be sure to leave a comment about, about what you think with, this, uh, with the figures. And subscribe to me on YouTube and also follow me on Instagram. I'll leave the link in the description below. And I'll see you guys later. Okay, turn turn out.